What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Shark Bites. We've got our first new research episode of season four today and we're starting off with a really interesting piece of research that was sent to me. Kailash popped up on Twitter and pointed me in the direction of some new research that's come out from Dr. Neil Hammerschlag and his team of shark scientists. Neil is the director of the shark research and conservation program at the University of Miami and is a pretty big hitter in the world of shark science, publishing tons of papers and regularly featuring on Shark Week. Now the research that's recently come out is suggesting that seal stress levels have significantly decreased in an area which previously was known to be a hotspot for great white sharks. The area, which is of course False Bay in South Africa, was once upon a time a hotbed for white sharks who readily preyed on Cape fur seals. And being under threat from great white sharks, these Cape fur seals were likely pretty stressed out. Makes sense? Okay, okay, so I know you're probably going to be a little bit annoyed at that slightly misleading title, but... Keep watching because this is really, really interesting. The research team has been collecting seal scat samples since 2014 in False Bay, which was before the noticeable decline in white sharks. And they continue collecting seal scat samples in 2016, 2017, and 2019, which was during the decline and the eventual disappearance of great white sharks in that area. And what they were looking for was this, glucocorticoid the stress hormone. When any animal is freaking out, they produce a ton of glucocorticoid metabolites, which ends up in their poo. This means that scientists can then calculate how stressed out an animal is or was. So after some digging around in seal poo, Neil and his team found that the stress hormone levels in that poo were more than four times lower on average in the absence of great whites. But it doesn't stop there. The research team started to notice some behavioral changes in the seals that were different from before. The Cape fur seals were now rafting, which is where they chill out at the surface together in a group, further away from shore and over deeper water. This behavior definitely would have put the seals at risk of a shark attack previously, but now they feel comfortable enough to do it because the sharks aren't really there anymore. I think what's crazy about this study is that it shows you not only has the loss of an apex predator caused behavioral changes with that rafting, but also physiological changes as well with those stress hormone levels. We still don't really have any conclusive scientific evidence as to why those great whites have disappeared from False Bay. I know that some of you will be saying, oh, it's the killer whales and others will be saying, no, it's the overfishing but in reality, scientists don't actually have any real evidence yet, so we'll just have to wait and see. But the disappearance of these great whites gave Neil and his team a really valuable opportunity to study the impact of losing an apex predator from before and after they were gone. And those kind of opportunities don't come round often. So there we have it, guys. Cape fur seals aren't really afraid of great white sharks anymore because they've disappeared. <laughs> What do you all at home think about this new research? Are the seals getting a little bit too big for their boots? Are the great white sharks going to come back? I want to hear all your thoughts in the comments below. I'll also, of course, post the link to the research in the description of the video below so that you can have a read of it for yourselves. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the Sharp Light channel below where you can stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Until then, see you next time.